Welcome back, Fluffy Brick Builders! And today you guys might think we are adventuring into bag number three, but you would be completely wrong. We are going to bag number five. And not only are we going to bag number five, we won't need this until the very end, but we also are going to be doing bag number two of the light kit. Light my bricks. Build instructions, folks. If you guys are wondering, we are using Light My Bricks instructions to build this diorama. Remember, Light My Brick 2.0 allows you to build and light at the same time. We're changing the way you build Lego. So remember, we got that big, huge pile left from bag two. And a little bit from bag one of hearts. Well, we're just going to let that sit right to the side. Why, you may ask, why did Light My Brick skip all the way to bag number five? I can tell you if you want. So, where this pod racer is placed, it's placed lower to the ground. And in order to do more detail of the ground, and to better hide the wire, it's better to get the pod racer built with its light kit in so you can wire the lights to go all the way to the back. That's why we're doing it now and not later. It's so we can hide the lights better. So really, we literally just went from bag two, didn't even finish bag two, didn't even really finish bag one, go all the way. Actually, I think we finished bag one by now. Some of those pieces were used originally. But yeah, we're going all the way to bag two so we can be able to hide the pod racer's wiring. Which makes total sense. And I'll show you right now everything we're going to be using light kit wise. We got one LED. We got two LED. We got three LED. And we also got a custom brick and two clear cones that will be going along with the pottery sir. So let's start building the pod racer, pod racer. On Light My Bricks instructions, we are on number 60. That's where we are starting today is number 60. Pod racer has a lot of little parts. So it'll be a lot of needy greedy. Second part. A step 60 means building this thing twice. If it will actually pop on. And that goes on each other's hang off. If you're hesitant to try build and land at the same time, don't be. Trust me. Why my bricks got you covered when it comes to instructions? They got you covered. Give them a little bit of faith and you won't regret it. Because I highly recommend it. This should make a lot of people that were hesitant to start lighting because they didn't want to take apart their set. Well, now you don't have to. And give them time. They gotta catch up, switching a lot of the sets. 
the 2.0 and also working on the newer sets all at the same time so if you're curious about a set that you're wondering if they're gonna either they have in 1.0 and you're wondering if they're gonna change the 2.0 you can either message them and they'll politely look into it to t and tell you if they have any plans or no plans or you can ask me and I'll ask them for you because I do talk to them very frequently Especially since I was curious on, because I had 12, literally folks, I had 12 light kits from 1.0 that were ready to, you know, either the set was not built and I was going to start building it or um, I had it built and I just need to install the light kit. Uh-oh, we need a sticker. It's sticker number one. Sticker number one. Oh boy, there's gonna be a lot of stickers. Look at this. There's a lot of orange and black. And that's what the pod racer is. Orange and black. Stuff we got even more. So I want us to flip this over. Oh, on this side they want number three. Assuming there's two threes and two fours. Stud on the top, stud on the front, stud everywhere. Now we take now we take the purple, stuff it in the hole, and this is where we're gonna get a light involved. We need A R P thirty. So we need A R. P30. You gotta light that lightsaber up, huh? So they want us to take this, shove it up in there. need to make another one of these. I'm 
I'm trying to figure out what's going to be. That's what's going to hold it in. I'm like sitting here like, what's going to hold that light in? Alright. Let's put this in first. I need to sneak this light behind the glow and somehow allow it to stay so I can push this in. I didn't mean for you to fall. Look at that, it's holding. It ain't coming. Now we put that other side on. Now we need to make a clear one. Doing the same thing. Two of these. Then we need their clear tube. Just like that. And this goes this way. The pink. Goes on the front. I'm assuming this one goes here, like that. Now we gotta make another fin. same exact thing for the other side so we've done this once now we just gotta do it again which I'm assuming we're gonna be putting more stickers on this side just like we did the other one so. except the two blue are probably gonna be going on the other car, the other pod racer. Pretty much the same exact way, except it's opposite since we're are doing the opposite direction. It's like a mirror effect. A mirror effect. Whoops. There's 
not many pieces for uh, the pot eraser though. They're mainly just small pieces. Tiny pieces. So we need number two. Now we flip it over. We have four going on the opposite side of two. Now we need to put the number three on the back's opposite side. Just like that. I did forget put a three down. And now, opposite sides, we need to attach these. like that. I'm trying to figure out how you're going to be able to pop these out without a break. Well, it's kind of popped out. But on the bottoms, with the side of seeing these, we need a three. On the top part. And a, just a one, two. On the bottom. Like that. Now we need to make, take this, with this, This is going to go on the ends of these. This light's still not having anything. Flip it back over.
Now we need to add top bracket. the bumpers I don't need you yet we're on step 76 for light my bricks instructions just in case anybody was wondering Tight are they actually going? It's supposed to be that wide, I'm assuming. It's not very specific on how wide it's supposed to be. I got all four corners on. Now we're going to add some flats. figured as much. Now we're going to add the vents to all four ends. you pop off of. Try to make this as specific as it looks. It's still facing this way. Then we need to take a gray, a stud, Top half, we need a clamp. And an orange wrench. One of these. Two of these. Stack these up.
just like that. And we want these to go on nipple first. Now we need the weird fin piece. Oh, and they're gonna be going on opposite. One goes inwards, the other one stays outwards. And this is where we're gonna be adding the next light. So we need this, put this inserted, like that. We need ARWW30, there we go, ARWW30, rip that off, scrape the excess off the top. Straighten this wire out, and we go butt first. Try to get this flat in there. It is deeper than normal. So I'm going to try to, in normal cases, in the actual set, it would be just an or orange cone. But because we're adding a light, it's a clear cone. Like that. See the light in there? We also got to add one of these. Put this through. Feed it through. Now we gotta take the wire and feed it through these two. There's a little slit right there. Honestly, I'm gonna do it differently. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna feed it through the slit. It so it's capped there too. I would recommend making sure that you're in this little gap like that 
Now we gotta build this one more time. That's one. Now we go back and we do it again. piece that fell off before, another orange wrench, stack two of these, put that on, I'm not going to put these two on yet. Because I know I need to feed it through the thruster. So we're going to wait until it's fed with the wire. If you guys are curious, we're on step 81, which is 81, 82, 83, and 84 are all the thrusters. We already know since this is the last one, this is the one for the 8330. AW30, I think it is. Scrape that off. Straighten your wire out. Make sure there's no kinks. Remember, we're going butt first. I mean, this time, actually, we're going head first. My bad. Why was I saying butt? This is actually the head. sure it's nice and center in there it is the best we can now we feed this through this hole then we cap it I kept the other. Now it's capped. Now we need to put these two butt to butt, but try to make sure they're the same direction so we can feed the wire through the slit and then feed the pole in. thrusters complete. Now we are on 85. Insane thrusters. I 
attached to this. That's Thurster 1. They're all going underneath this. Now we need Thurster 2. That's not the most secure, I'm just saying, that's not the most secure spot to have these on. I know this is Lego's method too. so it doesn't want to go that way. See, this just doesn't make sense to me. I know this is Lego's method, but... This little gap holding on to this? See, that one popped off now, too. Both of them are. I'm so confused.
need Lego's method for the thrusters. A little bit on the crappy side. That's just my opinion. Not, there's no way that light might break will change this method. Let's get the other side of the thruster on. So, the whole thruster bit was bugging the living Batuco out of me. And after reviewing, I missed the vital piece. These are on differently. Now it fits better. These are on the other way, which allows the stud to slip all the way back. Which gives this more room to sit. So as much as I can go on. Alright. What we do got to do is take this end. We got to feed it through this side. Sorry guys, I mean to hit you. I'm gonna take this off right now. Just so I can get this crossed. Well then pop these back in. Then take all three of these. And pop this on. And that explains why We never put this on with the others.
There you go. Now we're going to put skate pieces on. Each of the ends. I call them skates because that's what it was originally used for. For a minifigure. See? My little mistake, and I'm sitting here wondering why Lego would have did that when I was the one that put the studs on backwards, and I apologize for making a mistake. can't tell what the perfect separation for this is. Alright. I think that we're good with that for right now. Now this is a all the, way, uh, all the way around block with studs. Or maybe those thrusters, maybe those thrusters weren't going to have any points on them. No, there was none. So I technically like my brick made it a little better. Because the orange tips definitely bring out the better of it. We gotta be making the seat soon though. I will say this, the next episode, we will be working on the other pod. To give you guys a little bit of something excited to look forward to, the next one we'll be working on the other pod. This is a nice color orange. One more stud. Would not have one more stud.
One little stud has gone missing. Alright, give me a second. I'm going to go look through my spare parts. Especially when it comes to small parts, <laughs> like one simple stud, you definitely have extras. And I definitely had an extra. Just had to look through my parts. Four inside up. Just like that. A brown nipple piece. And now we gotta make the extender rods. to the seat. That's one of the pods. Looks nice. Ready to take flight? So this spot right here, this little attachment piece right there, we need to take this with two clear pieces. We all know what the clear pieces are for. to this which this goes like this it for an air vent to pop off. There we go. Now we take this and we add it Assuming the wires go between, yes, the wires do.
thing with pieces that don't have a stop point when you shove them in. There's reasons like this. When you push something on too far, it then just going to pop itself off. Why does it look so much farther? According the picture, it looks farther away, but I'm probably just hallucinating. <laughs> Up. It's just not on the slant that I think it was I'm thinking. But now we gotta build some spots to hide this. You don't wanna see that wire, right? I don't, you don't, let's not. I know this is a longer episode folks, and I hope you guys are enjoying the experience as much as I am. Always leave a comment down and I will always answer your comment. You know, if you have a question or just a com uh, little comment about what I'm working on at that specific time, it will always timestamp, so I'll know. Or if you want to timestamp a specific spot, you're more than welcome to. But I'm enjoying these kind of videos. It allows you to be able to hang out whenever you want to hang out your own time. We're touching some back three, by the way, if you guys are curious. These are pieces that were from back three. I mean, back two. These are pieces from back two. We'll be doing back four next time because that's the other pod we got this but we need one of these with a confused a little bit folks I made an oopsie a while ago so I'm off by two studs like no joke folks I'm off by two studs
Yeah, I'm off by two studs because I put the white pieces wrong. They were supposed to be four spaced. So, do I just do this? Now that explains why we're closer to these now. Now these signal studs. I'm so lost. Oh, that's because this piece keeps going. And these studs don't go here. my little mess up. There. Are you really going to be stubborn? Still don't understand how in the picture it shows this is so cockeyed that way.
Now it's up. Look at that. Now it's up. Starting to be stubborn now. Good. Good. We need a corner piece to go here. Pizza pieces to go right there. I would love to pop that off, swing that in. Touch it all, it just comes off. Use the pod racers off the ground. Alright, remember that extra piece they gave with this one right here? We need the flat on three. We need a pie. goes on like this. And I'm sure the other black piece is going to cover over it. Because, you know, you got to blend it in, but make it also the best you can. And then we plug these in to the last three spots. This one's short. Well, this is going to be a little tedious to get this one in. There we go. Then we'll put this one over here. They're all in. And that's it. For bag two of the light kit and bag four, I mean bag five of the Lego. Am I missing this? I oh, am. Yeah. This goes here. This goes here. I knew I took it off. I just want to make sure I put it back on. But, you know, it's still not telling me to test. But guess what I'm doing? I'm testing anyways. <laughs> box is dead. My box is dead. Yeah, I'm have to charge my box. So next time we'll get to see it. Alright folks? As always, keep building your life one brick at a time. Remember, we're building the next racer on the next episode. Alright folks, stay out, stay safe, and keep building your life just one brick at a time. Bye for now.